WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 21 at 33,598. Holding quite nicely, but not showing too much strength, but certainly not showing too much weakness. The S&P is just a tad weaker. The S&P is down 13 at 4124. Uh, struggling a little bit, but also holding pretty darn well when you think of Friday's big move and yesterday's little bit of a give back. QQQ. NDX 100 down $1.38. That's where some of the weakness is at 322. But the technicals here are pretty strong. IWM Russell 2000 technicals here are pretty weak, down uh, 73 cents at 173.32. The uh, gold contract is now down a fraction at 2033. I think it's starting to stall here. Uh, I don't see it smashing to the downside, but I do see it uh, stalling a little bit. And you've got some strength in the. Uh, in the dollar, it's up 27 ticks at 101.67. Nothing great, but it says there is some internal strength. Looking at crude oil, uh, crude oil is uh, down 70 cents at 72.46, holding the nine-period moving average. And you've got TLT. I didn't even do that in my show just uh, this last hour. At the lower end of the range, uh, I've got this rectangle just sitting there, and it's going to stay in this narrow trading range, I think. So I'll be back at 2 o'clock for my show um, and don't forget, just great programming at TFNM. My service has the the, uh, the uh, opening call, daily newsletter. And um, hope you can stay for some great sh great shows coming up. Today's quite an important session at the close. We want to see what the market does. I'm a little upset that SMHs are lagging somewhat. But in the meantime, there is rotational strength, but still a big, big, um, a big deal that the financials aren't going to lead. At this point, they're still struggling to hold gains. So with that said, I think we're about to go tick, tick, tick for the end of this particular market update. And I'm waiting for that. Oh, in the meantime, what we're looking at, I want you to say the VIX index. There we go. The VIX index is uh, up 51 cents at 17.51. Funny, it's up when the market is not down very much at all. So um, finally, it woke up, but it's really stuck in this low range for now. At any point in the next week, if it starts to trade, Holding on the close above 20.50, that 21.72 level, the 200 period moving average in the VIX's daily uh, chart, that becomes a target and then the market will be much weaker. So far, the VIX is saying buying is still coming in. Have a great day. Stay tuned for great programming and I will see you at 2 o'clock.